Welcome to the Supplier Engagement Tool, a free sustainability action planning tool for suppliers to universities and purchasing consortia. This short walkthrough will take you through the three-step process of creating your action plan. When you have created your account by registering an email address and password, click on the Create Plan button that will be here at the bottom of this landing page. When you log in subsequently, the button will say about your business as it does here. On this page, you are presented with various questions which tell your customers more about your business. The initial questions at the top of the page are factual, such as business size and turnover, location of head office, whether you supply a product, service or works and the commodity code that best describes the main goods or services you provide. Your answers to these questions determine which issues and actions you are presented with in the next section of the tool. A sole trader or micro business will not be presented with the same issues and actions as a large or enterprise business, for example. Here also, you will need to indicate which universities you supply. It is important that you answer this question accurately and only tick universities you currently have a contract with. In the future, if you stop supplying a university or win a contract with a new university, you should return to this question and update your answers. Similarly, indicate here if you are on a framework with any of the purchasing consortia. The remaining questions on this page are split into five sections. Modern slavery, ethical business practice, climate emergency, equality, diversity and inclusion, and social and community contribution. These five sections cover areas that your HE customers have told us are important to them. We have provided links that we believe will be helpful to you in relation to the questions being asked. And if you hover over the question mark, you will see additional explanatory information in the pop-up box. These questions have drop-down answers, but we have also provided evidence boxes to some questions where we are asking for additional information. The drop-downs for these questions give a range of answers which enable you to more accurately respond to the question. As part of this spectrum approach, the answers to the questions in these five sections also have a score attached, which will translate to four levels. Level one is early stages of your sustainability journey with lots of scope for improvements. Level two, some good practice in certain areas with the opportunity to develop further. Level 3 demonstrates a good understanding of sustainability and social value related to your business practice. And Level 4 is best in class, demonstrating a comprehensive commitment to running a sustainable business. It is important to note though that the purpose of the scoring is not to mark suppliers as pass or fail and it will not be used as part of the procurement process or prevent you winning work within the HE sector. This approach is simply to give your customers a clearer understanding of where you are on your sustainability journey and highlight where they need to target their support for and engagement with their suppliers. We also recognise that some of the questions may not be appropriate for sole traders and small businesses and this has been taken into account in the scoring methodology. Work through this page answering the questions and providing the evidence where required. If you do not have the answers to any questions, you can save this page by clicking the Save button at the bottom and returning later to provide the missing answers. Once you have finished on this page, click on the Issues and Impacts button to continue to update your action plan as necessary. This section shows environmental, social 
and economic issues and impacts, both positive and negative, that have been pre-populated in the tool. These issues and impacts have been chosen because it is considered that some or all will be relevant to most business types. To select the issues or impacts you think are relevant for your business, click on the statement here and it will be moved to the top box. Once you have selected statements, you can reprioritize by dragging and dropping. Click on the I icon to find out more information about the statement. You can edit this issue. If you think the language is not quite right for your context, and if you change your mind, you can deselect the issue and remove it from your action plan by clicking on the dustbin icon. If there is an issue or impact that you feel is important for your business that has not been included, you can add your own custom issue by clicking here. Please do only add brand new issues or impacts rather than an edited version of an existing one. Once you are happy with your selection, click on the Generate Action Plan button. This is the action plan that has been generated for your business based on the issues and impacts that you selected on the previous page. To the left is the issue and to the right the suggested actions. Each of the actions has a progress indicator. You may consider that you already have some of these actions in progress or even completed and you can update these accordingly. It is expected that over time you will return to the plan and update your progress on these actions. You can add evidence to your action by typing in this free text box or adding links to relevant external websites or documents. Actions can be removed from your plan by clicking on the dustbin icon, but it is worth noting that once removed, these actions cannot be reinstated to your plan at a later date. You can add your own actions to an issue by clicking here. And if you added a new issue on the previous page, you should make sure you also add associated actions to that issue. Unlike the About You, Your Business section of the tool, the Issues and Actions part are automatically saved, so there is no Saved button here. You can export a PDF of your action plan or print it if absolutely necessary. If you would like other colleagues to access the plan, either to work on it with you or just for more information, you can use the Share functionality. You can either share a read-only link or you can invite other colleagues to contribute to the plan and they will be able to edit it. This functionality is important as it prevents your colleagues from creating duplicate plans for your business. Thank you for listening and we hope you found the walkthrough useful. If you have any further questions, do please get in touch.